You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Two people are in custody after a road rage killing of a four-year-old in Lancaster. The shooting happened Friday night near Sierra Highway and East Avenue J. Investigators say a driver cut off the car the boy and his parents were in. The suspect then pulled up to the car and started shooting. The boy died at the hospital. Officials arrested a 29-year-old man and a 27-year-old woman. They were booked on suspicion of murder. And tonight at 6, there will be a candlelight vigil in honor of four-year-old Gore Adamayan. Marvel is reportedly dropping Jonathan Mayer Majors hours after the actor was found guilty of two of the four charges in his domestic assault trial. A New York jury convicted the 34-year-old Marvel actor of third-degree reckless assault and second-degree harassment, but acquitted him on two other counts. The case stems from the March incident Majors had with his then-girlfriend in Manhattan. She says he hit the back of her head and fractured her finger. Majors' defense team argued his ex was the aggressor. Majors is set to be it's sentenced. It's really split between the jury saying we don't see intentional assault, we don't see aggravated harassment, but we do see those lesser charges here. Mm. We think that he did something criminal that he shouldn't have done. Majors is set to be sentenced in early February and faces up to a year in prison. Well, a once popular YouTube star who gave parenting advice pleaded guilty today to child abuse charges. Ms. Frankie, how do you plead to count one aggravated child abuse, a second degree felony? Guilty. Ruby Frankie was in a Utah courtroom this morning. She was originally charged with six counts, but two were dropped as part of a plea deal. Frankie was arrested in Utah in late August after her malnourished son ran to a neighbor's house asking for food and water. She is expected to be sentenced in February. Frankie's business partner, Jody Hildebrandt, was also arrested and charged with child abuse. Well, winter officially starts this week and it'll actually feel like it. We're tracking not one, but two storm systems. Here's a live look at our weather radar. It's going to be a wet week for many of us. And a live look outside. Big looming clouds and gloomy conditions from the coast to the mountains. KCAL News meteorologist Olga Ospina is tracking your rain in the next weather. Hi, Olga. Uh, hi, Christine. And you know what? Uh, some of us already seeing a few drops out there. Really nothing of too much impact, but it is going to get a lot more intense as we head towards the middle of the week. So we've already been seeing some rain to our north. That is making its way south. And again, already seeing a little bit of impact uh, since early today. Uh, we'll see more of it in the coming days. but want to show you what it looks like outside. So I'll pause this and you'll see uh, just a few drops for some of those higher elevations. But as I take you through that future cast, you'll notice uh, by tonight uh, things are going to get a little bit more wet. We'll see a little bit more rain out there. This is storm number one. We have two storms that we are tracking. Here we are Tuesday 8 a.m. seeing some rain moving across Southern California. It's mostly going to be light rain, but then here comes that second storm and this is going to bring us a lot more moisture and potentially if we get some instability, we could get thunderstorm activity as we head especially into Thursday, 7.30 a.m. on Thursday. We're seeing a lot of wet weather. It's going to be a lot more widespread for us here on Wednesday and Thursday with still some rain lingering as we head into Friday. So really on and off rain through the week. And then as we head into the weekend, things are going to dry out just in time for your Christmas Eve holiday. So here's a look at rain chances for the upcoming week. Again, we'll continue wet through the week especially Wednesday, Thursday into Friday, drying out over the weekend. And temperatures, of course, are dropping as well. As we head into tomorrow, numbers mostly in the 60s. And the seven-day forecast showing us temperatures will continue cool as we head into the holidays as well and even early next week. Christine. Thanks, Olga. I'll have that. Umbrella ready. Airbnb is going high tech to crack down on New Year's Eve parties. The company announced today it's implementing artificial technology to enforce rules on bookings in certain countries and regions, including Los Angeles. Airbnb said the goal is to try to identify and block booking attempts for entire home listings over the holiday weekend that could potentially be high risk for unauthorized parties.
Now that Shohei Otani is a Dodger, what better way to welcome the two-way superstar to Los Angeles than by honoring him with his own mural? Otani in Dodgers blue now appears on the wall of the Ocean View liquor store in Hermosa Beach. The artist says he was initially working on a different piece along the wall, but news of Otani's signing inspired him to make his new artwork. This has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thank you for joining us. We'll be back live at 4 here on CBS News Los Angeles.